Free energy, a myth for a real possibility. Today's video is gonna be a little different than my usual videos, but nevertheless a DIY project. So if you wanna know if this generator here can power part of your house for free, stay tuned. I started a little side business on green energy involving blockchain technology. I can tell you more about that later if you're interested, but because of it my friend Mark kept sending me these videos of people in India building these generators that supposedly produce free energy. Of course I like everybody else learned in school that it would be impossible to build something that generates free energy, but these videos made me curious. Why would these people with limited resources pretend to build a free energy generator? And so I decided, despite of being told impossible, I tried anyway and built a generator myself. Finding a flywheel was difficult. For some reason you can't buy a flywheel on the internet, can you believe it? The optimal flywheel has its weight as far away from the center of rotation as possible. Another way to optimize the energy to mass ratio of the flywheel is to spin it at maximum possible speed. When the rotational speed of the flywheel doubles, its kinetic energy increases by the factor of 4. That's why I decided to use machined 45 pound weights. You can't ask the mailman to deliver two 45 pound weights. And that's why I drove all over North and South Carolina to get these parts. But sourcing these parts was not easy, mostly because of the mix between metric and imperial system. It's very difficult to stick to one. Honestly, I don't understand how you can build anything accurate using the imperial system. With all these fractions, but hey, that's just me. Once I hooked up that motor it just didn't sound right, so I had to take it apart and figure out what that noise was from. Because I wanted to be able to make modifications and take everything apart in case it doesn't work, I decided to use extruded aluminum profile versus welding a frame. It may be a little more time consuming than welding a frame, but much more flexible to adjust my bearing blocks and motor plates. It's also much easier to cut aluminum than steel. My miter saw does the job just fine. And then my camera fell over. <laughs> to assemble all the cut pieces I used inner and outer 90 degree connector brackets. Paco was a little curious himself and wanted to see what's going on here. He kept sticking his head in there. I didn't want him to get hurt so I had to move him out of the way.
It is important that the generator is leveled and that's why I decided to use adjustable legs. To mount the generator I went to the local metal shop and got plates cut 400 by 200 millimeters. That way I have enough space to slide them either direction for alignment with the pulley. Clean up all the corners with a file so that nobody can cut themselves. Degrease it and give it a quick spray paint. And now it was time for the assembly of the electric generator. I found a few helpful pages where you can calculate the belt length. And if you forgot how to calculate gear ratios, you can even find out what kind of pulley size you need. In my case I wanted something where I can optimize the output RPM of the generator and that's why I bought a step pulley like you would find on an old fashioned drill press for speed adjustments. The first test run was a total disappointment. The motor draws too much current before it ever even reaches max speed and trips the circuit breaker. After trying this a couple times, I decided that a redesign is required and use a motor that uses less horsepower and draws less current. So I disassembled the whole thing, ordered a bigger pulley for the flywheel and a smaller motor. I replaced one of the plates with a motor base just to make it easier to adjust the belt tension. I'm using a gauge to make sure everything is set up properly and balanced. I jokingly told my girlfriend that we will have to wear helmets in the house while I test out my generator and no kidding one of those magnets came off and good lord just about took my eyeball out. I used a dynamic balancing method where you section off the flywheel into three sections and apply weights, measure the vibrations and a software will then calculate the best and optimum weight distribution. As you can see here, the whole machine is moving because it's so unbalanced. With over 90 pounds of flywheel spinning at over 1200 RPM, it was very important to have it properly balanced. Now I needed to make sure that I reached the 3600 RPM required for the generator to produce power. I was able to produce power with the generator, even run another motor, but every time I plugged the motor into the generator, it would just slow down and come to a stop. 
Although unplugging the motor from the outlet into the generator manually was the way it seemed to work for the Indian videos, I questioned if I was fast enough and lost speed. So I installed a relay that would switch over to the generator as soon as it hit max speed. But that also was not successful. In a last attempt I decided once more to install a smaller motor and I would use a current limiter that only allows a certain amount of current to be drawn by the motor. But that wasn't successful either. Perhaps somebody has a great idea what needs to be changed to make this work, otherwise I have to say this is a failure. Please leave me a comment, even if it's just to tell me, I could have told you. And if you're interested, here's a short commercial of the business we started. What actions would not only make the loudest noise, but make the biggest impact? What if your sustainable, eco-friendly choices get rewarded? Imagine your contribution, modest or strong, a constant source of funding for reforestation projects and renewable energy from solar, wind farms and bioenergy. We have an entire community with the same goal in mind, to return to safe CO2 levels. A community focused on combining forces on a decentralized blockchain that tracks the progress of our goal for reaching 350 parts per million. The blockchain of a sustainable future.